Hello, my name is Angus Patey. I'm from colormanagement.ca and today we're going to take a look at EFI Express. It's a software RIP that works on the Mac and the PC. So let's start at the beginning and this product can be run as a demo but it will watermark um, all the prints. Once you have a, a license, um, EFI has an EAC, an activation code that they call it, and that is set up through the activation assistant. So once you get your activation code and your dongle is attached, you can go through the process of entering that code and doing an online activation. You can move this machine to another system quite easily by just unplugging the dongle and plugging it back into, into another system with the system installed. So it's a hardware-based dongle that looks after the licensing. It's very easy to work with. Um, if you need to move it to a secondary machine, you just move the dongle and reinstall it on a second machine. You just can't run the RIP simultaneously in two locations. But it does give you the option to have it installed in two locations if you want to move it around a bit. The license for me is all the way up to XXL. They do sell it in three different sizes, the M, the XL, and the XXL. And obviously it's more expensive as it gets larger for the bigger devices. So after you do the initial installation, you have the ability to do a setup assistant. That's very easy just to walk through the general settings that you're going to want to use to get the system up and running. Okay, so the first step is to choose the generic preset, whether you're doing proofing, production, photo, or business graphics and such. So if we use the proofing, it's going to use the ISO coded, uh, color uh, absolute color metric, Adobe, da 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 da, and all that. Um, it looks out and finds a printer that's installed. You have the ability to install a multitude of printers um, within the Epson family, the HPs, um, Mutos, Okies, Roland, Xerox, and such. So it has a very, very vast number of printers of which you can install with. And again, it depends on the license that you purchased. This particular printer, the 3880, on the Contone driver has 14 profiles that are available. We can then set it up either via uh, a direct connection um, or direct by a port. So it's either IP connection or directly to it via USB. In this case, I've got it connected by USB. I have a few choices of which to select my media, um, the ink type, the, ink, uh, the media options that are available. Generally, there's a few Epson profiles available and then a number of EFI medias is also available. You have the selection of the resolution, and that obviously depends upon the media that was created and how it was done. This one's a 720 by 720, for example. This one, which is a custom one that I made, is a 1440 by 720. Um, and again, you can go through and do different ones. Our company does offer the service of creating custom profiles that can be loaded within EFI Express. And we can talk to you more about that if you want to get in touch with us. And the second last step is what tray is it going to be printed at and what media. So that's pretty straightforward. You can also do a collection preset, which is more for photographers who are trying to put multiple images onto one sheet. And so we hit finished. So now that's gone through and configured the basic settings that you can use. At any time, you can go back in and change those through the preferences. And by opening that, you've got the ability to go through and set up the generic preferences that you want to use. One of the neat things that they've done is if you want to use this RIP for a couple of different environments, say you want to have one that's set up for swap and another one that's set up for grackle, you could then go in and just save that as a preference. Okay, It has to be put into their preference folder which is hidden within the system and then it'll give you the ability to load a preference with all of its presets done. So if you have a number of different settings that you want to save Again, you can either save and load it directly, or if you save it into the job, into the application's preference folder, then you can load it through this top window here. And I find that really helpful if I'm jumping between two different presets, because this RIP is designed to have one workflow, one queue loaded at a time. It doesn't give the option to have multiple workflows simultaneously. That's the more expensive version of their color proof. But the EFI Express is great, great, great rip for those who have 
one main workflow, whether it's photography to a certain type of paper, or it's a grackle proofing setup where you want to go to swap for magazines, you can then set it up to run jobs day in and day out. And if you need to switch it, you can come to the RIP and just load a different preference. Okay, so you've got lots of different options within this. And we're going to go into, the, in the second part, we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of this a little bit more. Um, the last thing that I just want to show you is you have the ability under the help menu to do a couple of things. You can do an online update, and here you can do a software update and a profile update. Okay, so the software update will go through and will check and see that you're running the most current version, which I believe I am, so it tells me there's nothing new available. But it also lets you go through and check for new profiles that are available online. Um, this window is a little bit um, confusing to some, but once you understand it, it's quite easy. So you just click on the tab for the one that you want. And let's go back and take a look at the 3880 and the Contone. Within there, I don't think there'll be anything new that I don't have because I've just installed it, but we could then load that one profile. You hit Add Profiles. Okay, now I have to go back to the selected profile. That's the kind of the part that's a little confusing. Click that and update now, and then it'll download the profile for you that you've selected. Okay, so you've got it set to automatically check for updates every once a week, and you can go online and check for any new profiles that are available. And again, it is possible to build profiles for this product, um, but it takes a little bit of knowledge, and, and that's something that we're very good at if you need that help with it. So that's part one of activation, um, the setup assistance, the profile updater, and the program updater, and a bit about default settings. So if you want to watch part two, we'll get into some more details about how to set up and configure the program.